Ashes of Creation was on a roll last year. They were hyping people up, they were showing tons of new content, such as the character creator, seasons tech, new classes, new biomes, world map changes, and so much more. It really gave people something to be excited for, with most of us thinking that Alpha 2 was on the not-so-distant horizon. And then, in November, we saw the true state of the game in the Cleric Showcase. Although not bad for an Alpha state, it gave us a much better look at where the game was at, and had us thinking that we had a pretty long way to go. Then December gave us a dev interview with no new features, January gave us a tank showcase that was so bad received that they ended up re-recording it to give us a much better look at the tank, and then last month they gave us a dev interview showcasing the UI, which I really enjoyed, it was a bit different, but a lot of people saw it pretty boring, and a step back from most of 2022. And here we are. All of that momentum that Intrepid was building up last year has pretty much gone away. And according to Google Trends, we are just about where we were in excitement as before the character creator was shown last year and things started to get really amped up. And March's livestream with our first look at the Tower of Carfin is really that hope to bring the hype back. Well, at least I thought it was, but we aren't getting a dungeon walkthrough like I anticipated, just the Carfin area, which still has some potential for being very exciting, especially for those of you who want to learn more about dungeons and the lore, but the community is ready to see features and systems in the game, not more of the art team. We know the art team is amazing at Intrepid, we've seen the work they can do, but... Other than combat and seasons, where are the big systems the game is built around, such as nodes, naval content, dungeons, and raids? This is the curse of transparent development, something that Intrepid has stuck with since day one and giving us monthly updates on the state of the game, showing us what they're working on and teasing what's to come which with the transparent development they have put themselves in a situation where everyone following the game up to this point has pretty high expectations on what to expect. Too high for a game that is still in active development and still in the early alpha phases of testing. And this includes myself. Intrepid has shown us what they can do with amazing systems, leaving us needing more month after month and being disappointed when they don't live up to these standards, causing a lot of people to start to lose interest. They show us things which we provide feedback on, and then we push back the development more and more based on our feedback because Intrepid responds to it, they iterate on it, they make the changes that we ask for as they are striving to make a great MMORPG, and the best way to do that is to listen to the community that you're making this game for. We're most game studios would ignore us and move on. So let's face it, Ashes of Creation is a long way off. We could get Alpha 2 this year, we could get spot testing, but that is just the beginning of the road. Because the systems they are building, the worlds they are striving to create with the purpose of every single server being unique, is not something easy to come by in the gaming industry when you want it done right. Steven Sharif has assembled the Avengers of developers to create an MMORPG of our dreams. But that is going to take time, more time than we've already gone through and Transparent development makes being patient extremely difficult at times. Normally, a game is announced, we're hyped up for a few weeks, and then we forget about that game for years until it pops back up again closer to release. None of you are probably thinking about that Riot MMORPG as much as you do Ashes of Creation, because they don't show us anything. There is nothing to build up that hype or be excited about because we don't know a thing about the game. But Intrepid feeds us tiny bits of information month after month, keeping us from forgetting about Ashes of Creation, making it feel like the the game is constantly just out of reach for us. They tell us saying such as spot testing is coming in a few months, or we will see the Cyclops raid boss in the next two to three months, and when those timelines have passed, we still have nothing and we get disappointed. Which is why game developers don't do transparent development like Intrepid is doing. Because in the gaming industry, hitting dates is hard, and Intrepid has definitely learned from this and continues to learn from it, which is why we don't have an Alpha 2 date or really any idea of when to expect Alpha 2. They're not even giving us a year. Game development development is a hard process, and hitting dates without a pressure of a corporation giving you deadlines and striving for perfection is even harder. So what exactly can we do about it? Well, the hype isn't going to come back until Intrepid is ready to give us dates, and that is a good thing. We as a community needed a reset. I think Intrepid needed a reset, and with the hype dying down and people's interest slowly fading for a bit, that is the time where they can get this and we as a community can get that. Obviously, the hype could continue 
continue to jump up month after month as they show us new things, it could die out again, but until we see the world coming together with nodes and naval content and boss fights and castle sieges and all those other mechanics coming together and working, making us see this MMORPG come to life, then we know Alpha 2 probably isn't that close. We all need to manage our expectations, but at the same time, Intrepid needs to not commit to things such as spot testing or Cyclops bosses until they are ready to be shown. If somebody asks a question, don't answer the question. Don't tease timelines before it is complete and it's ready for the next showcase. Because obviously things like this happen. Unreal Engine 5.1 took longer than they thought, and I imagine this has pushed a whole lot of things back further than they planned on. And things like that are the reason why they can't hit dates. Things happen, things break, there are bugs, there are system updates, there are tons of things that can affect the development of a video game. The Carfin tease at the end of the February livestream that we got was the right way to tease what's coming next. They 100% know that that is what's being shown this month, so they gave us a trailer to tease it. They didn't promise anything more than the trailer, they showed us a bit of the world, they gave us no context, so we have no idea what exactly they're going to show with this other than it's not going to be a dungeon walkthrough thanks to Twitter. But we all need to manage our own hype until we know that Alpha 2 is truly close and that we have more tangible evidence that this game is really coming along. Seven years is not a long time for MMORPGs to be in development and we surely have a few more years to go.